ogres feast to honor Greasus the over tyrant. Their appetites are ferocious. I must be weary. Time's up, wizard. No. Put him in the stew. Wait, wait! Untold power can be harnessed from a dying god. Power? Ogres take what they want. What more power do we need? Boil the pot! Flesh me! <laughs> Please wait! The god is a bear! You can't devour it! Quiet! A bear, you say? Sounds tasty. Shut up! A new meat. God flesh. Enough for you, your warriors, and your god, the Great Maw. <sighs> I can smell it now. Roast god ribs. A feast like no other. You're no meat eater. What's in it for you? My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way for one drop of Urson's divine blood. One drop, but ogres get the rest. That is the deal. The first soul harvested. When all four have been gathered, they will combine into a single light, revealing a shadow path to the Forge of Souls. Then Urson will be within our reach. But what's this? The tome consumes the soul's energy, reaching across time, revealing secrets. It was the Old Ones that shaped this world into a paradise. Yet the power they harnessed to move sun and rock could not be tamed. Raw magic erupted from the Great Cataclysm, flowing forth from a realm of chaos. So came the demons. They hunted the mortals, feeding on their souls. Yet one of their prey betrayed his kin and embraced the gods of chaos. They gifted him demonhood, and he became the first demon prince, Belakor. He clawed at the world, scarred it with his armies, reveling in the bloodshed. Those who seek power will always want more, and Belakor's lust was the greatest of all. Gods of Chaos, have I not fed you souls? Have I not given you the world? Give me more power. Answer me! The four gods punished the demon prince for his arrogance. They took everything. His armies, his power, his form. Cursed to roam the world as a shadow amongst the shadows, powerless for eternity. Damn the gods! Bellacor has spent millennia planning his revenge on the Chaos Gods. What twisted scheme has his dark mind constructed? Urson is not dead. The bear still clings to life. God blood to break a curse. Too long. I was imprisoned in shadow. Finally, my flesh returns. 
flesh to tear, little demon. When I am free, you will know the wrath of a god. The bonds of the forge are strong, and you grow weak. Our journey is not complete. The Lord of Shadows is a shadow no more. With his curse broken, he can pursue his burning desire to enact revenge and dominate the world. So, Belakor has rebuilt his throne of old. But to what purpose? He has no followers, no army. Even the Chaos Gods abandoned him. <laughs> Does something amuse you? You sit in your little chair. But what power do you really wield? Hidden away, deep in this forge. Hidden. Your roar was felt across the world. A god's carrion will attract powerful scavengers. Let them come. The essence of the slain will be repurposed into an army. It cannot be. Belakor controls the Forge of Souls. He intends to build an army of the most twisted manifestations. Soul grinders. Your Chaos Masters will not allow it. I have no masters! The Chaos Gods are forbidden to enter here. Silent. While we wait. Wait. For what? For you to die. New deity will soon ascend. Belakor, the Chaos God of Shadows. But his transformation will take time. He can still be stopped. He must be stopped. Then, Ursin's power is yours. Empires forged. Demon slain. The realm of chaos endured and mastered. The time has come to fulfill the final part of the pact. The spirits imprisoned in the Tome of Fates now untethered. They combine into a single light, casting a shadow as they journey to the forge. Shadows fall, 
we shall step. A bridge revealed to the Forge of Souls. Bellacor is on the verge of Godhold, but he has not ascended yet. What he started, we will finish. Destroy him and claim the power of the Bear God. A battle to draw the gaze of the gods. All breathe a sigh of relief, for Bellacor is vanquished. Godhood is lost. As was foretold, shackled within the depths of the forge was the body of Ursa, the once mighty god of Kislev. The prophet of the Great Maw stands before a lifeless god, the divine corpse still fresh to butcher. An ogre's greatest desire, god flesh, the meat of meats. Once the tribe have gorged, Urson's remains will be fed to the Great Maw. Respite from the eternal gnawing hunger. One drop of Urson's blood was enough to break my curse. The taint purged from the Tome of Fates. Now it is mine to command. A pure white crow, the lone witness to my ascension. Come, little one, what fate awaits us?